I love Autodesk's Fusion 360. I think I could list a dozen reasons why it's better than SketchUp, but that's not the point of this video. It is a fantastic program and for hobbyists, it's still free. However, there are a couple of areas where it does fall short. In the 2D drawing space in particular, where you take your 3D model and turn it into 2D so you can print it out on paper, some of the tools are just not great or worse, they're not even there. One thing that's been bugging me lately is something you can't do in Fusion 360 at all as of, what is it, March 2020, is perspective views. By that I mean that sort of projection here. Is it critical? No. Is it nice? Absolutely. There's quite a few times where that more realistic view of the model is much nicer to look at and uh, is easier to grasp than an isometric projection. I've come up with a couple of solutions that they work. They're not super streamlined, but they do work. First up is exporting the model out of Fusion into programs we can generate the perspective drawings from. Right click on the model tree and select save as STL. Both programs I'll be trying out are free, links for both of them are in the description below. The first is Wings 3D. File, import STL and then browse to your file. Whenever we export from Wings 3D, it'll export whatever you see, so move around the view using the scroll wheel to zoom and arrow keys to pan, and middle mouse button to rotate the view. Once you're happy with the view, file, export and choose cartoon edges. EPS or SVG is fine for export, as most vector programs will handle both. From my brief experimentation, the key settings I've found are exporting edge, face or both, and selecting show edges. With export edge and hard edges selected, I can open it up in Affinity Designer. It's not free, but cheaper than Illustrator. And we can take a look at the output. Overall, it's decent, though it's missing a few lines. It's still a vector, and simple things like changing the scale or the stroke thickness are easy. I'll re-export from Wings 3D, this time with show all selected to show the differences. As you can see, all the lines are there, but unfortunately the face lines are there also. On this fairly basic model, it's easy enough to select and delete the unwanted lines, but it is a little tedious. Next up is Blender, specifically version 2.79. 2.8 will work too, but I found more consistent results from 2.79. Go figure. Just like before, file, import, STL. Blender has a non-OS standard interface for file interactions, so it can be a little bit confusing. When the file imports, you may not be able to see it as the scale is off. Select the object, then on the right go over to the Object Properties tab and adjust the scale. I found 0.005 worked out best. I also needed to rotate my model by 90 degrees, that may vary for you. Delete the default cube object, otherwise that'll get rendered too. From the render menu, select render image and you can see what the camera is currently looking at. The camera is a separate object in Blender rather than just your viewport. Press escape to get out of the rendering, go down to view, Cameras, active camera, so we can move the camera around. Shift F puts us into flight mode and we can move the mouse to rotate the view, arrow keys to pan and zoom the view. The scroll wheel controls how fast this moves around. When you're happy, left mouse button click. Once again, a test render to make sure we're seeing what we want. Now we can go to set up the SVG export. Under File, User Preferences, go across to the Add-ons tab and search for Freestyle SVG and enable it. Once that's done, go over to the right hand side, go across to the Render tab, Scroll down to the file path. That's where the rendered files will go. Go back to the render tab and enable both freestyle and freestyle SVG. Hit render again and we can see that we've now got cartoon lines on our rendering. That's also exported the SVG. Back in Affinity Designer again, we can attempt to open the SVG. Unfortunately, it'll generate this error. This may not occur in other vector programs like Inkscape or Illustrator, but there is an easy fix. Open up the SVG in a text editor, and at the top of the file, replace the word ASCII with UTF-8, all capitals. Save and reopen the file in Designer, and we've got a great result. Just like before, this is a full vector. Editing the stroke, scaling, etc. is all nice and very smooth. Hopefully one of those two ways will work for you if you need to do uh, perspective projection in 2D line drawings. Of course, you can do screenshots, you can render things out, but sometimes having the vectors just makes things a lot nicer, particularly when you're going to be printing it, scaling it up or down or whatever. Thanks for watching.